briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit heard the case of United States v. Michelena Orovio. This case centered on the argument that possessing a substantial amount of drugs could be enough evidence to infer intent to sell them, even if one did not have direct control over the drugs. Additionally, Actively participating in a drug smuggling scheme could also serve as evidence of knowledge and involvement in a conspiracy. Lavino Michelena Orovio found himself in legal trouble after law enforcement agents, masquerading as unloaders and truckers, intercepted the foreign vessel he was aboard while heading towards a rendezvous point to unload a cargo of marijuana. These agents were hired by people who claimed to be marijuana smugglers from Colombia, and they provided information to the Coast Guard. After several attempts to force the vessel to stop, the Coast Guard finally intercepted it. Michelena Orovio was convicted of importing and distributing marijuana, as well as conspiracy to possess marijuana with intent to distribute it. He appealed the latter conviction, but the court decided that the evidence was sufficient to support both convictions. It upheld Michelena Orovio's conspiracy to possess marijuana with intent to distribute conviction, rejecting his claim of non-involvement. The court based its decision on factors such as the length of the voyage, the quantity of drugs involved, and the relationship between the defendant and the crew. The amount of marijuana found allowed the court to infer guilt, and the defendant's minor role within the operation did not warrant overturning his conviction. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class